Oh hey guys, <laughs> hello, back again, Tagliardi. So what's up with you guys? How is the month going? What do you want to talk about? Are you guys good? What sign? What signs are here right now? I'm a Sagittarius. I know. There is some Sagittarius here already. <laughs> oh my glasses. So how you guys well I'm gonna speak about that because this was the big things like these past days and it's gonna be the big, big things for a while and i understand it sagittarius of course i know Tadi Ali. you're my bro sagittarius brother <laughs> i wonder where is the chairman 007 your aura is beautiful you're capricorn thank you so much i love my cat I think Capricorn are so, so not well understood sometimes. I know they seem cold sometimes, but I like them. I really like Capricorns. They are teachers. They're very good teachers. I like it. They're funny too sometimes though. My brother is a Capricorn. And I have a Capricorn moon, which is great for business. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that little cap in my in my shorts. You guys know your shorts? You guys should know your shorts. It's very important because we tend to use... Okay, that's something I do actually. That's a good tip I can give you today. I don't know if you're ready for that. <laughs> okay, what I do, it's like... You know... Uh, Let's say I'm going for, for a meeting for business, okay? And I'm a little stressed or whatever, or whatever. I'm going to take from... I'm going to think about a sign that is good for business, like Capricorn, okay? Like Earth, Earth sign, okay? And, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take that energy. If... Uh, if I need to, yeah, if I need to, if I'm cold, like if I'm like a little cold and I need to get out some emotion, I'm going to try to take more like the vibe of the water signs because they're more emotional. Not, I mean, yeah, they are. Uh, I don't know. And elements too, like fire, water and all that, you know, air and um all the four fire all the four elements i use also to ground myself so i will go to the park if i feel a certain way and i will go to the to uh to the beach or you know if i feel another way and you have to feel that feel what you need it doesn't matter um how you use it as long as it works for you you know what I mean? Am I? I'm not. I'm not reading. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. I'm gonna have to write that down and explain it better with examples and all that. Cause uh, it's very useful. It is useful. Seriously. Like I'm a fire sign. I'm. A, I'm a Sagittarius, and my second sign is Leo, and my Venus sign. Venus is for love. If you look at your chart, your Venus sign is uh, for love, okay? And my Venus sign is Sagittarius, it's a lot of fire. I'm always like, I'm, a, I'm like a kid, I'm always jumping and all that, okay? And I'm 40 years old, I'm, I'm an eternal kid somehow. But because my moon is in Capricorn and I have a lot of Virgo in my chart, I, am, I still can, you know, balance myself sometimes and figure it out and stay grounded. And I can like try to calm myself. I can, you know, find passions or, you know, things like that. So it's good to know your shots. So, you know, you know, who you, you know, I don't know. I can explain that. 
you can find that online you go online uh, there is one i think it's a uh, short coffee or uh, astro coffee coffee or something like that i will have to, to search it for you and you can see all your chart is free you just need uh, to know where you were born hopefully you know and um and uh, the time maybe you have to call mommy to know the time <laughs> because that's what's important me too i good i'm good the lake park oh yeah you go to the lake park oh yeah i uh find some place come to meditation yeah same me too pure mindset yes yes you know it feels good too it feels good but because you're sagittarius too you fire and sometimes it's boiling here with too much you know too much it feels good that's why it's good to have um, like if you have a, a partner if that person person is uh, someone who can calm you down like a water sign it's a good thing you know or earth sign too can be good for you yeah And is that Mr. C? You say, no, you do not. I don't remember what I asked you. I, I just say, I think I say just like usually Capricorn are the teacher. So you're not a teacher. Yeah, you don't have to be, but I mean, you know, they have, um, they're very intellectual. And, uh, you know, they, they like to, Let's say you're not a teacher, okay, but maybe at home if you have a family, you be like, you be the father, okay, you be the, you know, and you will teach lesson and you will, you will, imp you know, I don't know how I can explain that. That's how I feel about Capricorn. But um, then everything else, you know, if you're funny or not, or if you like, like to travel or not, that's going to be about the signs in your shorts and many things. So it's really, um... It's really uh, unique for everybody. Yeah, Capricorn. The Capricorn are cool. I like. I, I mean, my brother is a Capricorn and he's funny. Like, he's full of shit. Like, it's funny. I don't know. Well, we, my whole family, full of shit. So that's maybe different. Actually, <laughs> we like. We like to. I mean, we're full of joke and we like to laugh. Your big bro is Capricorn. Are you copying me? <laughs> yeah he's my big brother too uh he's uh i'm 39 and he's 42 yeah he's 42 and my other big bro is a leo and he's he's like 51 i think i don't even know my 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 brother's age like It is. <laughs> I don't know my brother's age. <laughs> anyway, but, um, yeah, and uh, funny things. My mom is a Virgo, so I'm a Sagittarius. My second son is in Leo, like my brother. My moon is in Capricorn, like my other brother. And I have a lot of Virgo in my uh, chart, just like my uh, my mom. And uh, my North Node. It's important to know your North Node. You will see in your chart once you get into it. Because I know right now it doesn't mean shit to you. But it's important <laughs> to know yourself and to know where you're going. But uh, my North Node is in Cancer. Well, yeah, my 12th my house. My 12th house is in Cancer, which makes me very spiritual. And which makes sense that I'm doing what I'm doing right now. When I saw that the first time, I was like, Oh, okay, if I knew that a long time ago, you know, I would have done it, but I wasn't sure, you know, you have to go through stuff to heal and to be the best before to go into your, to step into your path, right? So I guess it was meaning to be like this. So yeah, if you guys need your shots, you want, oh, let me check, I'm, I can, you know what? Let me check the website. I'm going to give you the website so you can do your chart for free. It's going to be fun. It's your birth chart. 
and it's a free it's super free i think it's coffee something oh it's here we go it's uh, astro point cafe astrology.com let me write it for you okay because it's a big ass uh, it's a big ass uh, astro point astrology they could have done something a little shorter but let's be grateful because it's very cool that come that's the link actually i don't know if you can press on that to go there but yeah here i go Yeah, that's why you Italian early. Yeah. That's why my man said connect to your vibe. Fire can see fire. Yeah. Game recognize game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, we are fiery. I don't know why I had that. Game recognize game. You remind me um the boondocks. I love the boondocks. Oh my god. I can wait for them to do more seasons or whatever. I don't know if they will or if they stopped completely, but I still have hope anyway. I love the boondocks. So real. Yeah. And you know what's good too? It's when you do that uh, chart things, like the birth chart, what you can do is compare with uh, your, with your, you know, with your lover or whatever, the person you see. So you can see if you, you know, there is possibility to match. And, on the same vibe I didn't do it because I know I probably will do it probably will do it soon yeah so yeah the chart is important also yeah also the numbers if you see a lot of numbers because i know a lot of people see numbers because they've been awakening and they've been seeing stuff like number coming out on your on their face a lot and even myself like lately i had a lot a lot of numbers every month i have different numbers and i always try to figure out the message and what i need to do because if you see numbers, it's not for seeing, just to see numbers, okay? And the message is not always the same for everybody. So, let's say, let's say you see the number two all the time. Twos, like, it can be one, two, or two, 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 two okay? It can be many twos, but it's two that come back in your face most of the time. Uh... It could be that you are unbalanced or you're about to find balance. It could be if you at that time, if you see a lot of tools when you're speaking to people, it means you need to find balance with people. Or if it's at work, it means it may, it may be a situation at work. Right. So you need to figure out what number you see the most, what it means. And when you see it, you have to check when you see it, you have to figure out what you're doing. Uh, and it's very interesting how uh, the number change while you evolve and you change your way, you know? And when you have those kind of uh, signs, it's pretty cool because you, that guide you to, that tell you if you're on the right way or not, okay? Yeah, so you, have, you really have to pay attention to this. That's the reason why people say pay attention to the signs and numbers. And people don't understand it like, yeah, I see one, 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 two, two, two. Yeah, but if you don't do nothing about it, seeing 111 is great. It means like, it means a lot. It can mean a lot of things. It can mean like you're manifesting as fuck, so be careful of your thoughts because you may be negative at this point. Or be careful to not manifest too much. <laughs> I don't know. It can be that you're about to meet your twin flame. Uh, also, the numbers, I used to see 747. Okay, and I knew that I will meet my, my twin flame soon when I saw this. So the numbers don't, don't have to be just one number. It can be a mix of numbers, okay? 
because seven it will be the life path for the stability change you know and seven coming back it means i'm the for, for me it was meaning i was going on the right way so analyze that you see you see uh, numbers study early or whoever here with me <laughs> i'm glad you're here i'm glad i have a few that are here for me because i'll be lonely huh? <laughs> also uh lately uh it's been like it's been uh since um february i've been seeing um my birth my birth uh, day date okay my birth date you see 11 okay oh is that mr c you see 11 that's good actually it's a good number but you need to check it out and try to figure out when you see it though could be interesting to see or if you see even like uh, 11 11 even if you repeat many times it's still your message it still means something you know the, the number one is a new beginning also if you want to you know analyze uh, number by number it's very good i like it it's very good number very good if you see a lot of 11 be careful what you manifest don't be in make sure that you're always in a good positive mindset okay because that's when you it means you manifest a lot that's your birthday i love that number 11 yeah i love it too that's a good number well you know i'm november 11 24th so that's the day that's the number i see most of the time and i realized at first i was like what does that mean you know 11 24th and then when i wasn't seeing 11 24th even now i still see that okay i see 24th my date my day okay that's my day 24th so when i see that i know it's my guidance when i see my birth that's how i i feel about it i see my birth date everywhere i feel that it's because i'm on my life path now so i see my own number when i'm on my i'm on the right path i see 24. when i'm right when i where i need to be i see 11 24. that's how i know that i'm just right on point you know what i mean and um like when i i talked to my ex uh like like uh, la uh last month real quick on the phone you, you know um i saw 24 and i knew that what i was doing was right then when i spoke to my to the the person i'm seeing right now i, I text him and i see 11 24 many times and I know that's that's the right one. You know what I mean? That's how I get guided too. That's that's part of it. That's your guidance. Numbers, signs, it can be it can be anything. It can be even seeing seeing animals repeatedly it can be a message. Um you really have to tap into your feelings, guys. It's very good guidance. And and I, I swear I'm not gonna lie to you like since I do that, my life has changed. Like since I'm really look like analyzing the signs, we I'm not looking for the signs. Okay, it comes to my face. That's something like you driving and there is a plaque in front of you from a car, and it say eleven eleven, right? That's for you. You're not looking for plates, okay, all day. You're not looking for times. Is it eleven eleven already? It's just come to you, and that's signs. That's real, real guidance signs that and many things many things so i hope you guys uh, pay attention oh that's cool yeah very cool yeah my se my scent is pure that's why comes to you clearly it's true it comes to me clearly but i have to admit sometimes i wish i was speaking better <laughs> i was i wish i was giving you guys the mes messages better you know but i think it's because um i'm not very good with online stuff they asked me to do that 
and uh, it's a very good train for me because I've learned a lot since I started in January, right? Because uh, if you remember my first live, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, like I know I was, oh my god, it was horrible. But I guess it's my training, so I take it and I accept it. But I have to admit, I wish, but I will, you know, I'm getting better and uh, I will uh, give you the message better soon soon <laughs> thank you it's okay no problem yeah so yeah I'm still learning something cool cool there is so many things but it's good yeah as long as yeah remember just remember and when you have doubt come back to my page re-listen really to what i'm saying trying to figure out if it's accurate if it goes you know where you at or if not like do your own search there is so many astrologer tarot card reader that are so amazing that will oh thank you for the heart oh that's anton anton one nine hi guy hi <laughs> Uh, yeah, so amazing people around speaker, influencer, whatever. Make sure you choose them like very real. Like make sure they're real. Like it's not just to sell products. And if they ask money for reading, it's okay because you know um, that's also giving and receiving. Receiving if that's the work they want to do, it's normal. You cannot judge them on that. Some do donations, some getting paid, and that's not that's okay. But don't don't listen too much to people that it's all like you feel the vibe. Choose real people, you know. You have to feel like when they talk to you, you're gonna get better. You know, it's gonna open doors for you. Like you have to feel like it's accurate with what you're living right now, and that you wanna move forward. That their influence, their energy is positive for you. You know. You don't want people like just like into their business too much or a little bit negative. Sometimes you can feel like they're trying to speak positive, but sometimes it's still some negative in it. Some it's weird actually. Super, super really contradic a, a real contradiction. But yeah, be careful with that. Choose choose them well. There is plenty, a lot of good ones, astrologers and tarot card readers. Um, what astrologer I like? Oh man, I don't know the name. I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to write down some names for you guys. So, and tarot card readers. Uh, one tarot card readers I like. I know. Wait, I'm gonna give you her because she's my best. I, lo I like her. She's so cool. She's so funny. She's a Sagittarius too. You're gonna laugh all day with that one. And she is on point. Come back to me, eh, South. Don't leave me alone anymore. She's very good, but come back to me sometimes. Say hi. <laughs> House of Ocean. Okay? Her name is House of Ocean. She's on Instagram. And she's on YouTube. You need to... You have to. She's so good. Very good. And straight to the point, she, uh, she don't take no bullshit. She speaks a little fast, so be careful. <laughs> But I think on YouTube, you can slow down the video if you need to, you know, <laughs> to process what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, my battery. Wait, my battery is out. One second, guys. All right, let me put that. Here we go. So, yeah, uh, hours of ocean and who else I like? I used to like even scent because she does very good reading. She's very straightforward, but I don't like her energy at all. And at one point I was like, she has a lot of power though. I have to admit she has a lot of power. She's very strong, pretty accurate, but she is like, she, she hates everybody else. You listen to her and she's like the queen of the world. All the other one are in shit, so I was like, okay. She's a Sagittarius too. I'm gonna write it so you can check on your own. Maybe you like her. Uh, 
uh, oh no, it's not even sent. It's not even sent. I'm talking about. I'm talking about um, straight out of the gate on YouTube. It's a woman. She's very, very good, very powerful. But it doesn't work with me. So see, maybe what doesn't work with me may work with you. So never know. I just, uh, I, I don't know. Her energy doesn't work with me. Yeah. Maybe also sometimes, you know what? Sometimes also you, 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 Sometimes you do that to protect yourself. Maybe she does that to protect herself, you know. Or sometimes you like that one month or two and then you calm down. You're like, okay, I went a little too much. So I'm going to have to check her again. She's pretty good. Very, very good. And that's it. Shasha World, hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> So I guess um, the hangout is over, I'm gonna go. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you did listen to my live about the astrology stuff, you know, about this month, the energy this month, I hope you understood a few things and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to listen to it right now, just to check that, uh, you know, everything is all right. And if not, I will do it again. <laughs> Just like your emoticon. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye, is that Mr. C? Bye, everybody. Bye, my Sagittarius, bro. <laughs>